God. I prayed it. I preached at the Catholic Church one time, Mike. They called three ambulances. <laughs> people falling out in the Holy Ghost. The Jesuits said, Need people dying in here. <laughs> they called three ambulances. Hallelujah. And, but that father, oh, I love that father of that church. i never forget it. My God, he wanted the power of God. He was a Catholic priest. He was a pastor of that Catholic church. And so I said, boy, and people falling out. And I said, I said, you need prayer, Father? You know, because that's all we ever knew to call a preacher was Father. He said, yeah. And, I, and he grabbed me, man. Mikey literally came up to me. Have you? He grabbed me like that. I said, well, what are you holding me for? He said, I don't want to fall down. <laughs> I, I said, why don't you want to fall down? He said, the Jesuits are looking. Yeah. <laughs> I said, well, bring the Jesuits. Said, oh, no, you don't want the Jesuits to come up here. I mean, it was such power because we didn't have any more sense but other the other than just believe. That's that right. is what you say. That's See, poverty is so blinding that you can be standing in opulence and not even realize what you're saying. That's called the Vatican. Now, I'm not against Catholic people. I'm a Catholic. Did you know that? I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. You've got to be Catholic at least once in your life. <laughs> How many of y'all been Catholic at least once? Look, we don't even have counties. We've got parishes. You know, nomine patria, fili, spiritu santo. I've been christened and confirmed. They didn't throw me out. They didn't excommunicate me. In fact, I've been asked by the Vatican to come to Rome and preach to the charismatic faction of the Holy Roman Catholic Church. Ain't that nice? You want funny? This is funny to me. Now, Reverend, we know you fly a corporate jet, and, you know, we don't have that much money to pay that kind of expenses. I said, that's okay. You ain't got to give me no money. Just let me go to the Vatican, and I'll take one of them statues. <laughs> like the La Pieta by Michelangelo, which is just priceless. You see, you standing in opulence, but poverty is blind you so much that you take a vow of it. See, poverty is so blinding that you can be standing in opulence and not even realize what you're saying. That's called the Vatican. Now, I'm not against Catholic people. I'm a Catholic. Did you know that? I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. You've got to be Catholic at least once in your life. How many of y'all have been Catholic at least once? Look, we don't even have counties. We've got parishes. You know, a nomine patria fili, spiritu santo. I've been christened and confirmed. They didn't throw me out. They didn't excommunicate me. In fact, I've been asked by the Vatican to come to Rome and preach to the charismatic faction of the Holy Roman Catholic Church. Ain't that nice? You want funny? This is funny to me. Now, Reverend, we know you fly a corporate jet, and, you know, we don't have that much money to pay that kind of expenses. I said, that's okay. You ain't got to give me no money. Just let me go to the Vatican, and I'll take one of them statues. <laughs> <laughs> like the La Pieta by Michelangelo, which is just priceless. You see, you standing in opulence, but poverty is blind you so much that you take a vow of it. From man's religion. Man's religion grew up in the soil of tradition. 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 You've heard that. Fiddle on the Roof movie, song. Everything's tradition. Well, bless God, the Catholics do it this way. And the Baptists do it this way. And the Methodists do it this way. And the Episcopalian and the Presbyterian and the Church of God, the Church of whatever. They all do it this way. And if you get out of their tradition, they don't like that. But ladies and gentlemen, there's something more powerful on the earth than the Word of God. What are you saying? Let me tell you what's more powerful than the Word of God. What could be more powerful than the Word of God? The Bible says the traditions of men have made the Word of God of none effect. That's Mark chapter 7 verse 13. You can go read it. The traditions of men have made the Word of God of none effect. Or in other words, stops the most powerful substance on the earth because of tradition. Tradition is man-made. What are you saying here? I'm saying bl blind traditionalism is the key culprit in misunderstanding God's Word. I only knew two preachers in my life. I was raised Catholic in New Orleans, Louisiana. I knew the Pope and Billy Graham. I didn't know anybody else in between.
I didn't know how to pray. I didn't know how to pray. All I knew was Hail Mary, full of grace. <laughs> the Lord is with thee. For our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The blessing of God that is. And I hope every, that don't make no difference what denomination you are. Because it takes faith to believe in that denomination. If you're Baptist, it takes faith to believe to be a Baptist. If you're Catholic, it takes faith to be a Catholic. <laughs> if you're Pentecostal, it takes faith to be a Pentecostal. Do you understand that? Never, ever criticize faith. Because faith is developing and producing your future on a daily basis. But I can understand that. The Catholics, if you've been Catholic, we were raised with venial sins and mortal sins. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Venial sins and mortal sins? Oh, you did a mortal sin. Oh, you got a lot of rosaries coming at you. <laughs> a venial sin, you might get three Hail Marys and three Our Fathers. Anybody ever been Catholic know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Hold your hand up if you've been Catholic at least once. Can you quote the Hail Mary prayer? I, yes, you can. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. How come I still know that and I've been preaching all these years? Because not one Protestant taught me a prayer. Protestant church don't teach you to pray. They should have taught us the book of Ephesians, chapter 1 of Ephesians, chapter 2. Paul prayed. That prayer. Well, we don't want to pray vain, repetitious prayer. Look, if they end the book... They ain't vain in repetitious prayers. Our Father prayer is not that Jesus pray. But you notice Protestant churches don't teach you to pray. They teach you to shoot the dice. <laughs> well, you just never know what the Lord's going to do. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and I'm not against the Protestant church or for the Catholic. I'm not talking about that. But I'm talking about, why do I remember that? Watch this. They familiarize us with the Our Father prayer, the Hail Mary prayer, they jam that in us. And I don't care if you've been saved 90 years or you, if you're 90 years old and you've been a Catholic for only 10 years, you're going to remember it to the day you die. Why? Because they put it in you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death.